Sure. Gonna call the meeting to order. <clears throat> Rachel, please call the roll. Here. 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 Please stand for the salute to the flag. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> the notice requirements of the open public meeting law for this meeting have been satisfied a copy of the notice having been sent to the Asbury Park Press, the coaster, and filed in the office of the township clerk on July 12, 2017. Emergency notice, there's an emergency exit through the courtroom doors and two exits at the rear of the room. No smoking, board policy. No new cases will be started after 11 p.m. No new testimony taken after 11.30. In addition, the applicant will be limited to 45 minutes of testimony. Notice, all meetings will be will be video and audio tapes taped and shown on the Township Oceans Community Cable Channel 22 on Verizon Fios Channel 77 on Cablevision. All cell phones must be turned off. If you need to make a call, please make your call outside. Have some housekeeping first. Um, the reappointment of our <clears throat> professionals. Um, first, um, Appointment is for our township engineer, um, board, engineer. board engineer. I'm sorry, Bill Fitzgerald. I'd like to nominate him. Is there I'll a second, second that? Please call the roll. Yes. 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 Second is for the board adjustment planner, Higgins Associates. I nominate Higgins Associates. I'll second. Rachel, please call the roll. Yes. 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 And if they're appointed, they need, you guys need to take the oath. So if you raise your right hand. Stand. Sure. Stand. And repeat after that. Together. I, James W. Higgins, Higgins do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same and to the governments established in the United States and in this state under the authority of the people, and that all testimony that I shall provide during all hearings throughout my term shall be under oath and therefore will be under a legal obligation to speak the truth at all times. I do solemnly swear that will faithfully, faithfully, impartially, and justly perform all the duties of the Township, township of Ocean Board of Adjustment Engineer according to the best of my ability, so help me God. Thank you, and good luck. Thank you. <laughs> you may sign the form. Good? We're all set. Okay. Cases cases carried to February 15, 2018. Amy Sickles, Block 40.11. Lot 15, 1018 Franklin Avenue, Ocean. Chris Schwartz, Block 1.03, Lot 9, 5 Frederick Drive, Ocean. Dennis Randall, Gerald Miller, Block 131, Lot 11, 2001 South Wanamassa Drive, Wanamassa. Brenda Cabasso, Block 58, Lot 10, 449 Crosby Avenue in Deal. And our case number four, Victoria Schreiber, Block 25, Lot 87. 480 Elizabeth Street, Oakhurst, Zone R4. Uh, a case is carried to March 15, 2018, Lakeside Adult Medical Daycare Center, LLC, Block 140, Lot 81, 1001 Wickapeka Drive, Wanamassa. <clears throat> Resolutions and more memorializations. They're posted on the wall, seeing that no one wants me to read all those. I'd like to... Um, uh, I'm, I'm going to uh, read them off and then uh, offer them as, as a whole, if that's okay with everyone. Yeah, thanks. Eric Rubin, Block 8.01, Lot 24, 6 Tulip Court, Oakhurst, Bulk Variance Approval. Joseph and Teresa Saljanian, Block 111, Lots 4, 16.02, 1308, Wickapeka Drive, Wanamassa, Bulk Variance Approval. 
Rahul and Dipal Shah block 153.05 lot 12, 17 Shinnecock Hills Drive Wayside, bulk variance approval, Stacy Colmer, block 142, lot 7.04, 8 Mark Place Wayside, bulk variance approval. Somebody offer? I offer. Somebody second? Anyone? I'll second. Second. Oh, I'm not. I'll second. Good. Rachel, please call the roll. Yes. Yes. Good. That brings us to our first case, which is a continued case. Nancy Martin, Block 140.14, Lot 10, 214 Belmont Avenue, Ocean Zone R4. This is an application to demolish a detached garage and construct a new detached garage with variance for side and rear yard setbacks under minimum. Please come up. Okay, Miss Martin. You're okay. still you're you still sworn. Sit down. Sit down. Ms. Yeah, no. Yes, please, Miss Martin. And you're still under oath from the last hearing. As the board may recall, uh, last month, Miss Martin, um, the problem was is that her notices to the surrounding property owners were 100% satisfactory. Her verbiage in her notice in the Esbury Park Press was also 100% satisfactory, but they headlined it uh, Esbury Park instead of Ocean Township. And in order to play it safe, we've carried the meeting open, although all the testimony has been supplied. So the meeting is still open, so I, you have nothing else to add, do you? And by the way, she's republished. Right. Uh, same notice okay. under under the Ocean Township banner. Okay. So that we, we are covered for all notices, so service is totally in order, but the public hearing is still open, so I don't know if... Is it open and, or do we close it, Mark? And, we couldn't close it because no, there may be people interested once they receive the revised notice or read right. the revised notice. Is there anyone here from the public to be heard? I make a motion we close the... Uh, I second. Rachel, please call the roll. Yes. Sorry. Yes. 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 Just so you do know, I did listen to the case. I wasn't here last month, but I did listen. Okay. And you've, you've submitted a certification to that effect, which we have. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. As a result of having all the testimony a month in advance, I took the opportunity of preparing a resolution which I'll read to the board if they would like to vote on it tonight. Absolutely. Or unless Maureen would like to read it. I'll be happy to read it. Oh, she's, a, she's a nice voice, too. You can read the resolution. You just Thanks. like it because I go very fast. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> resolution of the Zoning Board of the Adjustment of the Township of Ocean. Whereas, an application for a building permit to demolish a detached garage and construct a new detached garage in conjunction with a single family dwelling on the premises, known and designated as 214 Belmont Avenue, Ocean, Block 140.14, Lot 10 in the R4 zone, on the tax map of the Township of Ocean was filed by Nancy Martin with the building inspector and or zoning officer of the Township of Ocean. And whereas the building inspector and or zoning officer of the Township of Ocean denied the application for a building permit because based upon the completion of the proposed construction, the side yard setback and the rear yard setback for the garage will be less than permitted by the zoning ordinance of the Township of Ocean and whereas an application was filed with the Board of Adjustment of the Township of Ocean for a variance from the requirements of the zoning ordinance aforesaid and whereas the Board of Adjustment of the Township of Ocean held a public hearing on December 21, 2017 and January 18, 2018 and the Board having taken the testimony of the applicant and uh, her professionals given consideration to the exhibits and accepted into evidence and the reports of the board's professionals and no one appearing in opposition the board made the following findings of facts one the applicant seeks approval to replace an existing one-story garage in the same exact location as currently exists two upon completion of the proposed construction the side yard setback of the garage will be 0.69 feet where 10 feet is required and the rear yard setback for the garage will be 2.9 feet where 30 foot is required Three, the subject premises is a 100-foot wide lot with a house, driveway, and garage situated on the western half of the lot. While there is room on the eastern half of the lot to construct a new garage, to do so would require relocation of the driveway and possibly the removal of some mature trees. Five, the township planner finds that the replacement of the garage in the existing location 
to be the logical approach. Six, the current garage is in a state of disrepair and it would be more to cost effective to repair, replace rather than repair if repairing is even possible. Seven, the garage will remain lined up with the existing driveway. Eight, the surrounding neighborhood is generally developed and has been for many years so that no additional land available to expand the size of the property and eliminate the variance requested. Nine, the applicant will construct the new garage to match the existing dwelling as to style, exterior finish and color and roof. 10, no one appeared in opposition. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Board of Adjustment of the Township of Ocean that it hereby adopts the aforesaid findings of fact in addition there two fines. One, service was made on all persons within 200 feet of the subject premises and publication was made in the Asbury Park Press. Two, based upon the aforementioned findings of fact, the Board does find that the applicant established a hardship cognizable by the Board of Adjustment of the Township of Ocean. Three, based upon the aforementioned finding of fact, the granting of a variance for the use as proposed would not cause substantial detriment to the public good and would not substantially impair the intent and purposes of the zoning ordinance or the zoning plan. Be it further resolved by the Board of Adjustment of the Township of Ocean that it hereby grants applicants' requests for variances for the construction of a new detached garage to replace an existing garage in the same location with a side yard setback of 0.69 feet and a rear yard setback of 2.9 feet. Be it further resolved by the Board of Adjustment of the Township of Ocean that the variance is conditioned upon all the construction being in strict conformance with the plan specifications and testimony submitted before the Board and the applicant to construct the new garage to match the existing dwelling as to style, exterior finish, and color and roof. Be it further resolved by the Board of Adjustment of the Township of Ocean that's the standard that, stuff that you're the rest of the boilerplate? Yes, yeah, that, that's where you got to publish and all that kind of stuff. That's the last paragraph. Right? Yes, we don't it's we, we, that's standard. In condition, the usual publication, payment of taxes, compliance. You don't want me to read that. Cause, well, okay. since you're ready, you might as well offer it. <laughs> I offer this. A second. <laughs> Please call the roll. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Thank you. That's it. That's it. Thank you. Publication. That brings us to case number two, Gregory Vargo, block 126, lot 3, 1318, Edgewood Avenue, Wanamassa, zone R6. This is an app. <coughs> this is an application to construct a, a second story addition deck two-car garage and a driveway with variance for front yard setback under minimum and driveway width over maximum. Attorney for the applicant, Robin, Robert McKean. Reports, gentlemen? Yeah, I'll read it. It's a somewhat unusually well, shaped lot. Let's, so. let's okay. mark the packet. Mark the packet. As B1. Sorry. Nice date. Jumped right up there. Jump right up there. <laughs> Mr. Higgins will summarize. Okay. I'll read it because it's just a somewhat dif difficult site. So. Okay. Uh, the applicant has submitted revised plans in response to concerns of board professionals. This report supersedes my December 13th report and my December 18th report in their entirety. The applicant proposes to expand an existing single family residence by adding a second floor to the existing one story residence and adding a one story addition to the north side of the building. An existing garage will be removed and a new garage will be constructed. The variances include principal building, minimum front yard setback, required is 30 feet, existing is 20.5 feet, and what they're proposing is 20.4 feet for a first story addition and 28.1 feet for a second story addition over the existing single family residence. Accessory front yard setback, Sunset Avenue, 30 feet. Required, they have a garage that is now situated 68 feet from the pro front property line. And now they're proposing 16 feet, which actually I think makes sense the way they're doing the plan under the site. Um, accessory <coughs> front yard setback, Edgewood Avenue, 30 feet is required, 19.8 feet exists, and 22.7 feet is proposed. Accessory structure, side structure, uh, <coughs> side yard setback, 10 feet is required. Uh, the existing that deck doesn't exist, it's for their deck, and they're proposing 5.3 feet. Uh, maximum driveway width in the front yard, 20 feet is permitted. Existing is 20 feet, and they're proposing 30 feet, but that's because it's a side entry garage, and the driveway goes in and then turns to go into the garage. It's not that the 30 feet is extending out to the street. 
Um, <clears throat> sites in a regularly shell shaped L shaped corner lot at the southeast corner at the intersection of Sunset Avenue and Edgewood Avenue. <clears throat> That's 50 feet of frontage on Sunset Avenue and 150 feet of frontage on Edgewood Avenue. It consists of basically two segments, a 50 by 100 foot segment, which I call the northern segment that fronts on both Sunset Avenue and Edgewood Avenue, uh, 150 feet on Sunset, 100 foot on Edgewood, and then it forms an L, it has another 50 by 100 foot segment that is to the south of that that just fronts on Edgewood Avenue. Uh, the existing garage is situated on the northern segment, and the existing residence is situa situated on the southern segment, uh, on the deeper segment. Uh, <clears throat> it's unusual because it's a corner lot in the R6 zone. The R6 zone permits 5,000 square foot interior lots, but, but requires 10,000 square foot corner lots with 100 foot frontage on each street. Uh, the one segment which just has frontage on Edgewood Avenue if it were standalone, it would be a conforming lot. Right. But because it bends around, <coughs> it, the lot's non-conforming because you have the 50 by 100 segment that fronts on the two streets. Uh, there are several pre-existing non-conforming conditions, which are the lot width, which is on the Sunset Avenue part of it, 100 feet required, 50 feet is uh, permitted, and that is existing rather, and then the lot depth, also the same piece, 100 feet required, and it's 50 feet exists. Uh, just, I don't really have a significant concern with regard to the expansion of the principal building. Basically, they're going up and they are adding a little bit to it, but there's no place else to do it. It makes sense before the building is in the lot. The deck requires a variance for side yard setback, but it should be noted that it's the principal building setback that's permitted in the zone is 5 feet. Right. This is 5.3 feet. So. It really fits in with the character of the zone. I think that's one thing we'll have to change in the ordinance. Uh, <clears throat> with regard to the location of the garage, it's 16 feet from Sunset Avenue, but uh, and it's about 28 feet to the curb. It's not that tall a structure. It's 22 by 20, and they've situated so that they can save as many as the trees as possible on the site. There are, it's a, and it's a 15-foot high structure, so I don't have a big problem with that. Uh, they are going to take down one tree, but that tree, quite frankly, if it was my house, I would have taken it down already because it's leaning at such, such an angle, and I don't think it's a safe situation. And also, quite frankly, under the township ordinances currently, they could go and they could take that tree down today if they didn't have a development application and there wouldn't be any obligation for replacement. Okay. Mr. Fitzgerald? Mr. Chairman, yeah, we had uh, a couple of meetings regarding this and some telephone conferences just to uh, try to get all of the concerns addressed. I think the applicant did an outstanding job. The applicant's professionals were, were outstanding and they were willingness to work with us and have telephone conversations or emails or whatever. Uh, I, the only thing I cared about was having the driveway 50 feet away from Sunset Avenue because it's a busy street. Uh, with regard to the setbacks, though, let me point out, even though it's not all part of this and not part of the evidence, in the course of corresponding with emails and the like, I did note that on the other side of the street, directly across the street, there are houses with setbacks, you know, principal buildings with setbacks less than 16 feet. So it's not totally out of character with the neighborhood, and I have no engineering concern other than a couple of details that we want because it did everything that I asked. Okay. Good. Mr. McKeon, yes. who's going to testify? Um, Mr. Chairman, good evening. Uh, Robert McEwen on behalf of the applicant. Um, I have Carolyn Young, who's a New Jersey State uh, licensed architect. And uh, I don't believe she's testified here before. Would you like to oh, have her qualify? Or? Got to swear her in first. Sure. Mr. Right Hand, swear to tell the truth, whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. State your name. Carolyn A. Young. Um, you've never testified here before? Not in um, Can you please um, just give us a little of your background? My education is Cornell University. My firm is uh, located in Morristown, New Jersey. I've been practicing for about 32 years now. Okay, we'll accept your credentials. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's move forward. <laughs> you, uh, you're licensed in the state of New Jersey? I'm, I'm, my license she said that, is current uh, in the state of New Jersey. Yeah. I, don't, I didn't hear that. Yeah, she said okay, that. Thank you. So, Mr. Chairman, we had prepared a whole outline of the testimony that we were going to go through, but I think uh, Mr. your experts talked about the fact that we had worked with them over the last several months. We've had several meet a meeting. We, we had several telephone conferences to try to address all of the concerns of the board's experts. 
and I think that we've come up with a plan that everybody's pretty happy with. Um, so I think what I'll do is I'm going to let um, Ms. Young just talk about the plan and the changes and also the, the variances that are required. Okay. There's several exhibits that have been marked. We're going to. Evan. Do you want to do, go through all of these right now? Because we have to mark them. Well, yeah. Do you, like you want to talk about the. I, I'd like to hand those out. All right. So, I made a photograph on my Facebook. These are photographs of the existing house. Can you please speak into the microphone? That, and that goes on to a recording also. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Yep. Uh, I have four photographs here that are of the existing house, the existing garage. Just are they all the same? No, they're the four. Different. Different. Four different, four different views. All right. She's going to mark them. A uh, one through A four. Sure. Okay. They're different views, I guess. So. And we we also need to mark in a set of the plans in total. Okay. Uh, this is. Is this is. This is ZV1, ZV2, and a architectural site plan uh, sketch that we included. They're the same as what your package has, except for color has been added. Uh, we have to mark. I mean, just mark one set of plans. One in. set of plans. In, please. Why don't you do the plans as A1 and the pictures as A2 a through 5. The whole packet that she's got there with the plans, okay. including colorized portions yeah. thereof. So A1 is oh, whatever you got up there. Yeah. ZV1, ZV2, right. and the uh, color. Okay. okay. And then she's going to mark the pictures. If you'll identify the pictures, A2 would be which view? Uh, the front view of the house from the street. Um, A3, A3 would be will be the front view of the garage from the street. A4 will be the rear view of the house. And A5 will be the uh, <coughs> southern uh, uh, side of the house, the left, left, right side of the house. Um, so you've had copies of the drawings? Yes, the board? No, we have okay. okay, okay. I, no, I, no. I think for. Uh, um, Mr. Higgins explained the L-shaped nature of the property already. Um, we have a site plan that shows the existing house and the existing garage and the configuration of the property. Um, the proposal is to uh, expand the house uh, to the left in the area of the existing garage with a one-story addition and then as been already discussed a second floor addition over the existing house. Um, the m significant part of the hardship here is the site. Um, I, we have two diagrams on the bottom of our drawing that I've put on to try to illustrate as succinctly as possible the nature of the hardship. We've shown one diagram that shows what you consider a conforming lot for a corner lot which would be 100 feet by 100 feet with the appropriate setbacks for the zone. And there is a hatched area that indicates what the building envelope would be if this were a conforming lot. Um, and you would be left with a building envelope of about 2,600 square feet. And you would have all of the various two front yards, one side yard, and one rear yard setback with a 100 by 100 foot lot. The diagram to the right uh, is, is our property. It is the essentially a, hundred and a 50 by 100 foot lot with another 50 by 100 foot lot attached to it perpendicular. If you look at this, you see there's a smaller square that represents what is actually our buildable area. Uh, in the case of our lot, um, we have a 1,600 square foot buildable area. And in the, um, the northern portion of the site going towards sunset, uh, if you look at the setback requirements for that portion of the site, we actually have a negative buildable lot area. The setbacks overlap each other in a way that nothing is buildable in order to be conforming. Um, so I think that diagram helps to reinforce what uh, Mr. Higgins has said about the hardship of the lot. Um, uh, 
we've also already discussed about the garage, uh, a detached garage towards Sunset. It's a small building. It's 15 feet high. Um, <clears throat> we propose it's 16 feet off the uh, property line. Um, we are maintaining the existing driveway that currently exists, which heads straight into the existing garage. We are keeping that same driveway and turning it to create a courtyard and coming into the side facing the garage. Um, we think we've handled the resolution of the site given this property as best as we possibly can. Um, so the driver, the garage doors are going to face the house. The house. The house. To, to the, the garage doors are here to the side. Uh, so the garage doors are going to face Sunset Avenue. No. No. no, no it's going to be a nice wall. The garage door is going to face the house. Face out. Oh, okay. Pull in and make a left in the garage. Got it. Okay. I'll, I'll go to the elevations in a minute. No, okay. okay. Um, the uh, uh, one of the other comments, um, and I'm jumping around because I'm just trying to be very brief. If anybody has more questions, um, there there it's been discussion about this deck, uh, the requirement for 10 feet, and we're proposing 5.3 feet. Um, I do want to point out that uh, this is being called a deck, and I don't disagree, but um, it, it, it is, it's a total of three and a half feet. Building code, we have doors out of the back of the kitchen. We're elevated from the ground. Our building code by nature requires that you have a landing and then you go down steps. So the purpose of this deck is to provide a landing. Um, three and a half feet wide? Uh, Extending. Extend out, extends out. Yeah, okay, it's it out. Okay. yeah, it's 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 wider because we have two pairs of French doors. Okay. So, you know, I just think it's important to identify for the record that it's not a deck where there's furniture; it's a landing. Yeah, you have the other deck too on the other side of the house. That's the same setback. Uh, yes. Yes. So that's, yes. That's yes. Really what that's I'm more the one. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Um, yeah. uh, except that setback is farther. Yeah, yeah. The, you mean this deck over yeah. here? Yeah, but it doesn't meet the ten foot requirement. Um, probably not, but it's yeah, it's more. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Anyway, okay. Um, it also yeah. it's a larger landing, but it, it it I would say agree that's more of a deck. Um, so those are the hardships of the site. Why we are asking for the reliefs that we're asking for. Way. Did you have a question? I don't want to do it this way. Yeah. I was just going to ask you, I mean, you would seem to be trying to streamline this. I appreciate it. I am, yeah. Um, maybe if, uh, just what you had done to address some of the concerns to minimize the um, significance of the variances. Uh, well, the yeah. trees, I think, yeah. were Jim's major concern. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mine was the safety at Sunset Avenue because if you're making a right or a left off Sunset Avenue and then stopping quickly to turn into a driveway, it can be problematic. I, I face it in my own going home every night. Um, having said that, we went through a number of iterations uh, of twisting the garage, facing it toward Sunset, facing it toward uh, Edgewood, you know, <laughs> facing it east. Uh, and this seemed to, to accommodate pretty much everything. It saved the trees. Mm -hmm. It had a garage, which is a small building, set back less than some of the mm -hmm. uh, principal buildings across the street. Uh, kept the driveway 50 feet. It gave the uh, the applicant a little bit of a courtyard between his house and the garage, so he's not looking out the window at a, at a right. The, right there. And, and the reason I ask is you you've done a great job if you're trying to yeah. come to a meeting of the minds. And I know you're trying to, and, and I, I appreciate just having read it the hardships of the lot. The shape, yes. The vicinity. So to hear the accommodation, yeah. that's yeah. why it's. Okay. We, um, b before uh, submitting this, uh, we had started out with the garage. Uh, this, is, this, by the way, was in your package. This is a colorized version of one of the drawings. It was just a blow up of the site plan, so it was a little easier to see. Um, bef before submitting what you're seeing tonight, we originally wanted to have the driveway um, coming out onto Edgewood, but much closer to the intersection with Sunset. And that was um, the sticking point with safety and concerns. So um, that's where the back and forth has happened. 
um, so that we've come to the solution of turning the garage 90 degrees, creating the drive court, and maintaining our existing driveway. So that that's, was the input and the back and forth with your professionals. Um, uh, this is EV2 that's been colorized. Um, very simply, uh, architecturally, we are still maintaining a nice front porch along the front of the house, a long horizontal line, um, very f embracing type of uh, bungalow style architecture. The second floor massing you see over here, uh, over the main part, this is the one story addition that's been talked about. And uh, here, 30 feet away, is the small garage, uh, 15 feet in height, with the gable facing Edgewood. Um, the uh, other sides of the house, you see uh, single story roof lines extending up to a second floor. You see porch lines to the, uh, to, to the courtyard facing the garage side. This is the garage doors, which faces the side elevation of the house across the drive court. Um, this is the garage that will be facing onto sunset, and there will be some um, hedge that's been discussed. And uh, the rear elevation, um, these are the double set of French doors that come out onto the small deck, which is a landing and stairs going down. Um, architecturally, we think it's an aesthetically pleasing design. I'm assuming since um, this is a pretty big renovation, all the siding will match, the roof will match. Yes, everything, everything, will, be everything will be done with new materials, a uh, combination of shingles and board and batten. And landscaping. Landscaping and, and complementary okay. materials. Could you yes. also address the, the applicant's uh, desire to do this uh, job in phases? Yes. Um, this is the full project right. which you're seeing tonight. Um, the applicant will uh, probably tackle this in a f first phase of doing the second floor and doing this portion of the house um, with a second phase of the one-story porch expansion and then finally uh, perhaps at the same time as the garage or the garage possibly being a third phase. And but how do we handle that um, in terms of Mr. Kirk? How would you, how would you want they to have to that? have two parking spaces on the site so if you're going to tear down the garage as you go to phase one to phase two, then it might be worth at least putting the gravel yes. courtyard in Certainly. so that they maintain the two on-site parking right. they don't have yeah, to I, I guess they have to submit the building plan in phases. They because, could, they, yeah, that's not a problem, is it? Put it in total. The, yeah. you got to bring the total plus the phases <laughs> into the building plans to the construction department so that you can get a CO after a portion Correct. of the building. Correct. We, we would be doing, submitting the plans per phase for construction so that you can get a CO after each yeah, phase. But I think you need to submit the entire plans in an entire okay. plan plus three phases. And is there okay. any time limit that usually goes on when you put the, when you put something through phases? It's up to the board. I think what the applicant is proposing is that he, he'd like to do the first phase um, within next year, I guess. Right. right. And then but two years after that, Within two years, he would start the second and third phase. So the driveway and the garage stays for phase one. Correct. Okay, so I think what you need to do is talk the time frames that the applicant wants that you want. Yeah. And I think what the architect could do is just put a schedule on the plan. Mm -hmm. Very simple schedule. Yeah. Give me those time frames again. Well, we're, we're just getting it right. Well, the first phase is within two years. Well, what is no, first no, phase. First, no, first, first right. First phase will be within one year. What's the first phase? Uh, the second floor. On the and existing house. Yep. Uh, the second phase will be the demolition <laughs> of the existing garage, constructing a gravel parking area and, and in the north. Talk so fast. Yep. Of existing garage. <laughs> and construct a new uh, parking area, gravel parking area where the courtyard will be to the north of the one story addition. Right. And then the one story and addition. And the one story addition, correct. And how long after the first year is that going to take effect? That'll be the second year. Okay. So it'll be a f one year for the first phase. Right. And then another okay. year for the second phase. What about the third? And then how about the garage? Yeah. And then the garage will start after that. So you're within three years, everything will be done. Correct. Well, give me, give me. I, I missed that. 
third story is the really one story is. edition and the garage it. at the same time no the garage will be the third i just, I just want to make i just want to make sure the reason yeah. i'm doing this is i want to make sure that this doesn't linger i understand because uh, because you know yeah if we leave the garage and then all of a sudden it lingers and there's you know there's an, an, it doesn't match I don't I, I can't do it now and and five years down the road and we're worried about this I so I don't want I, I, I want to make sure that we stipulate right. that right what I, phase was the garage being built the last one. three Third. same time as the one-story addition yeah <laughs> phase two. Phase two. demo the existing garage construct new gravel parking area and do the one within, story within two years and the one story right. yes. correct yeah. one story addition and after that three is the construction of the garage mm -hmm. It'll all be completed in, in three, three years. years. Three years. And you want a gravel as opposed to a paved or uh, I, our finished driveway. We want it to be pea gravel. Yeah. Yeah. We accept that. Okay. okay. We accept that. Okay. Good. Not in the right of way, but once around. Right. right. Not but right. I mean, it, it's There's a cement apron, right? It would almost yeah. be too much to construct this in one phase because there'd be too many moving parts and he wouldn't really be able okay. to live there and park there. And so it, it, the phasing is almost okay. uh, conti con continuous. What, what's what's, what's going to hold the pea gravel in on the sides of the driveway? You just can't put pea gravel down with nothing. Uh, we're, we're looking for details. We haven't got them yet, but okay. some type of curbing. Like, yeah. Good. Curbing, yeah. Belgian block, something like that, so yeah. that we can, you know. Right. Hold because the pea gravel will... Right. BMS. Yes. BMS. Yes. 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 condition the approval being that we comply when we set it up. Well, yeah, we had required that in my letter. That this yes. Right. The details we've been asking for. Yeah, I just thought, we have to tell wagging the dog. So. Yes. Just want to make sure um, yes. that that gets. Is there any reason you didn't want to pave it? Aesthetics. <laughs> yes. It's one of us. One of us, I got that charm, you know. It's, mm -hmm. Yeah, um, a everything there, a lot of it's old. We have charm, but we don't have that much pea gravel, actually. <laughs> 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 when I was a kid and I lived right across the White Bridge, as they call this, right. a lot of drivers are pea gravel. Okay, as long as it, as long yeah. as it stays put, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think that anybody would have a problem with that. I just don't want it to migrate somewhere else. One more is going to be um, firing a bullet, so. Yeah. I know. One, one of the goals of the homeowner, um, you know, I've, I've pointed out the hardship of the L-shaped lot for the corner lot condition. But um, one of the goals of the homeowner has been to try to get some garden space <coughs> and to have <coughs> some sight lines out of the house in order to enjoy the landscaping. And um, that, that has dictated for us a lot of where we've put things on the property um, so that when you're in the house, you can see some garden here on the uh, corner uh, of the, the uh, Edgewood and Sunset can have some garden along the Edgewood property and have some yard to the back of we the We like house. that. And yeah, I think everybody likes that. And, and I think that's why we picture the driveway as pea gravel, so that it has a very organic feeling to okay. it. Um, I, I think we've covered materials. They will all be the same. They will be consistent. Um, we. Uh, oh, yes, we, we did have one more exhibit. <coughs> Okay, okay. Um, uh, just to reinforce the setbacks in the area, um, there are a lot of non-conforming uh, non existing conditions. This is a Google map sort of printout uh, showing Edgewood, Edgewood and Sunset. Um, this is our our property with the little red dot. Um, I went around the neighborhood uh, probably last fall with my little laser and uh, stood at the edge of this, the street and um, walked the area and shot the front, uh, the, the setbacks from the street to all the various properties in the area. Um, so these are not from the property lines, these are actually from the street line. And um, that's what. Uh, Thank you. The, your uh, professionals have been also saying that there are already conditions such as 15 and a half feet uh, uh, directly across the street to the ex existing building, which means that it's 10 feet less than that. So it's actually five and a half feet from the property line. Um, 
across the way at the other corner of um, Sunset and Edgewood, uh, across the street from us, we have a similar condition of 15 and a half feet. And down Sunset and along Edgewood, uh, similarly, they're all non-conforming. And, and some of them are actually two-story you know, facades at that distance. Mm -hmm. So this is here as another exhibit. Okay. Ms. Ms. Young, you would say in your professional opinion that the approval could be granted to the applicant without uh, I do not think there's any detriment to the zone plan. I think it's consistent with the neighborhood, and I think it's a, an improvement and a, a, an attribute. Any questions from the board for Ms. Young? Ma'am, did you mark that as an exhibit? Yes, I did. A6. Okay. Any questions from the audience? Okay. Okay, so. Seeing that there's no questions from the audience, there's no more testimony, we're good. That's, right? that's, that's the testimony. case. We had no okay. testimony. Good. Okay. Any, anybody in the audience wants to speak for or against the application? Not just questions. Well, now's your time. If you'd like to speak for or against the application, now's your time. Okay, seeing that no one's coming up, Second. can we close the public hearing? Yeah, I'll make a motion. Second. Rachel, please call the roll. Bonnie? Yes. 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 Action. So we have, uh, we have resolutions that are, I mean, variances that are revised from what was initially. No, the, well, the variances are as, as per um, uh, the agenda. Yeah, we need wording here. <laughs> oh, 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 okay, guys. That's for me. Okay. But they're, they're looking for, yeah, well, they're looking for the following variances. Okay. But they're all in Jim's letter. Right. We'll go over there you go. Uh, with you again, they are requiring the principal building minimum front yard setback of uh, 20 feet 4 inches first story, 28 1 inch for the second story. They're requiring accessory front yard setback, which is the garage from Sunset Avenue 16 feet, the garage from Edgewood Avenue 22.7 feet, the decks. At 5.3 feet, both of them, the same set? I, the, the other one might be a little bit bigger. A little bit it's farther back. Yeah. Okay, a it, minimum yeah. 5.3. Yeah. And the driveway width at 30 feet, where we, we only permit 20, that's because the driveway is, is perpendicular. Yeah. It's horizontal. Yeah. Perpendicular, no, horizontal, or, or, or parallel. The parallel to the uh, street. That portion is still in the front yard, so you count that as driveway. Yeah, it's only a small portion. That's the, the, the parking court, basically. But the actual driveway going in is less than 20 feet. Yes, that's you know, And that makes the turn. Um, the other two, the lot width and a lot depth are pre-existing, so we don't have to re-grant yes, them. Yes, that's right. So. I, I'd make a motion for approval of those variances. And, and how about the time frame? Do we have to? In the phasing. As the well, the phasing. the phasing is set forth in the application I'll put in here. OK. Um, the, the problem is, is that variances run with the land. Right. Unless you say something specific, do you, do you, do you want something to lapse if it, if it doesn't get constructed according to this plan? What do we normally do? Well, We've done this before. I know what your concern is if you we think about it. We don't have an ordinance. That, that, the main that, concern is that you're going to have a garage, an existing garage standing right. there, that now doesn't match the new house. Correct. Mm -hmm. So, I, I know. Sure. Go ahead. I know we've done this before, though. We when some when someone came in to do phases, and I don't remember the case, but, right, but I, I you said, okay, you got this much time to do this, this much time to do this, and this much time to do this right. with a li with a little bit of of, of leeway. So I, th well, I think I that think the was, biggest I, thing that you have is that the, again the concern the would be right. matching of the old garage with a new building. Yeah. Exactly. So exactly. Okay, I I just talked to the applicant. The, the issue is he'd like to the garage to stay there as long as possible because he's going to use it for storage when he's doing this uh, work on the house. No, he's got, he's well, got the timing. He's, I guess if he misses any of the phases, well, once he's his done the second story, right. have to return to the how board, long will it take to okay, demolish yeah. the existing garage? That's the key, because if the existing garage is gone and you have yeah. a gravel parking area, you don't have the mismatch. Right. But he wants so to use it for the... Rather, rather than fix up the existing garage, Quick. And that's the that's the only thing I'm trying to I'm trying to just keep it uniform. How quickly can you demolish the existing garage after the after the CO 
for the second story. Of the day. After the, after the first phase is done, he won't need the existing garage for storage. Right. Um, so to physically demolish it is a week of time. It's not a significant so maybe He's going to have five days of, of the CO for the second story addition. The existing garage will be demolished, and you'll have two parking spaces on site that meet the ordinance requirement. You good with that? That's fine. Mr. Van Wagner, are you good with <laughs> offering that? <laughs> can, you have, can, we, can we do 60 days? 60, yeah. Uh, 60 days is fine. Okay. So that, that's sort of phase one and a half. Yeah. Okay. 60 days is fine. That's sort of phase one and a half. Phase two is going to... Sure. Sure I just want to make sure it comes down. And I don't wait, try wait, past it every day and go... Wait, wait, wait. wait we got to... Okay. And then phase two is supposed to be construct a new gravel parking area with two years. Within well, two if he years takes so. down the garage, <clears throat> then he's got to construct the garage, uh, to at least two parking spaces on the site, because he doesn't have a variance to not have them. No. So actually, phase two has to happen in total within. No, no, no. I, it, you need phases. You need four phases. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Phase two is the demo of the existing uh, garage and construction of a new gravel parking area. Phase three, within sixty days, he's got to do that within sixty days of CO. Mm -hmm. The one-story additions within two years. That would be phase three, and phase four would be the garage within three years. I think that's more that's likely. Right. Yeah. And if any of the phases they miss, the, the, the variances lapse and they have to come back to the board. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll amend my resolution accordingly. <laughs> I need a second. I need a second. He doesn't decide. To Rachel, please call the roll. He doesn't build the garage. He, gets, he, can, he doesn't build the garage. Yeah. Yeah. Within three years, then. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. I'm sorry. Yes. That has to be within six days of that. Thank you. Please see Rachel. Thank you. Very much. Story edition within Thank you. two years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Good luck, Mr. Yes, good luck. It's a nice plan. It is. Bob, Bob. Very creative thing. Put your email. Yeah. That's good. I'll send you a copy. I just want to make sure it's yeah. right past that old garage on the MGA. Okay, next up is case three, Susan Pogquist. Lock 130, Lock 10, 1308, Vena Avenue, Wanamassa, Zone R6. This is an application to keep a solid fence six foot in height with variance for fence height over maximum in front yard. Is this the first time you're here? Probably not. We're renovating the house for 14 years. So oh. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna um. For this one, yeah. Oh, okay. Please raise your right hand. That's a way to tell the truth, tell the truth, and nothing but the truth. Please state your name and address. Susan Pogwitz, 1308 Vine Avenue, Ocean, New Jersey, 07712. Okay. Yeah. Can we mark the packet? Yeah, I got nervous. I saw oh, they all my stuff, and I thought I wasn't allowed to bring anything. And I'm like, I really don't have anything. I just started the pen. Mark the packet. Perfect. Okay. Please tell us um, what we're doing. Yes? Oh, no, wait. Uh, let's read the reports first. Read the report. I think our report was explaining. I'm sorry. Don't Permission to maintain an existing six foot high, pro approximately 16 foot long solid fence in the front yard. The fence is located on the south side of the existing driveway and extends perpendicular to the front property line from a point approximately six feet in front of the garage to a point approximately eight feet from the front property line and 15 feet from the curb line. The variance is necessary for the height of the fence. The ordinance limits the height of a solid fence in the front yard to three feet. This is a very unusual application that the fence is not located along the property line, but approximately 30 feet south of the northern property line and eight feet in from the front property line. In addition, the property is situated so that there is absolutely no backyard, so that the only usable yard on the site is the front of the residence. The fence helps screen this area. Based on the above, the board should, could find that there's a practical and undue hardship that forms a positive reason for C variance. In this regard, a practical and undue hardship is defined by the courts as a condition that would prohibit the applicant from using the property 
as might otherwise be permitted by the ordinance. With this in mind, I believe that the applicant should present testimony to the board as to why the absence of the fence creates a situation that adversely impacts their ability to use the property in a manner as might otherwise be permitted by the ordinance. With regard to negative criteria, the applicant has stated that the fence is not visible from properties to the north and south. The applicant should pre present additional testimony to the board in this regard. It should be noted that the intent of the ordinance is to prohibit solid fences over three feet in height from surrounding the front property and providing a significant negative visual impact. Thank you. I, I'll, get, I'll cut to the quick because there's got to be a solution, but I have a concern about safety because this fence is six feet tall and solid oh, face and it's within eight out. feet of a yeah, walk, of a walkway. Okay, so typically we're looking for 15 feet for a site. That's right, that's right. So oh, I don't, I mean, maybe a combination of things where a shorter fence trans, transitioning up to a longer one, but, but I can't go with anything that doesn't conform within 15 feet of the easterly edge of the sidewalk. Okay. I don't know what the setback is because this isn't one with the four feet between the curb and a four foot sidewalk and the one. This is one with a pretty short grass area. So it's probably something like three feet between the east edge of the sidewalk and the property line roughly, which means, you know, if you're, you, you have a setback of 12 feet. Usually we recommend 15, but I can work with that. But uh, what does that do for us? But that's what? my concern. What does that do for that? Some, a vehicle backing area? out, someone walking south on the sidewalk with a six foot fence here, you really don't see them. If they're well, okay. so, tell me what you're suggesting. Well, I can work with anything that the applicant might want, but conforming within 15 feet of the of the east edge of the sidewalk is what I'm looking for. So, could we start? Can you start lower? And it's okay with me. It's, it, they have to like it. Right. I, I'm just. What we have for conforming is what we have for conforming. I need you to listen. Is either I think three feet, or if right. it's more, or if it's four feet, it's got to be 50 percent open that's, or something yeah, like that. Yeah, that's correct. It's three feet solid or four feet open and the open 50 percent of the fence has to be open and then then does then you don't need a variance for it so it's yeah. it's not even an issue so the reason that we didn't run it all the way to the street so we originally put the fence up i didn't try to not get a variant we've gotten if you look back at our records we've gotten permits for everything the reason i didn't think i needed the permit was because i didn't run it on the front it's not an Just issue so, so you yeah. guys we're not complaining issue. about that and we've no. lived there. And the other thing is we've lived there for it's it's going to be 19 years this year and we've never needed anything there but there's a, a changing landscape where asbury's become popular i've been finding people kind of sneaking into the driveway looking around i've had realtors um an older uh, woman across the street moved out i just want you to know why we put it up no, I'm not I complaining about that. Oh, okay. I, I want the end product to be safe for people. So, on the and, the, so and the reason it doesn't run to the street is when we put the fence in, I made sure that we backed the car and that I could see outside. But I'm telling you the engineering standard. So I, 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 I know, but I'm just telling you that when I back out, before I even reach the sidewalk, I can see perfectly. That's why we put it exactly. So I'm just letting you know that I didn't put a fence up that I can't see when I back up. I mean, that would be ridiculous. But there's a standard, so it, I'm sorry, but it, I'm not... I've been here 27 years. I've re required 15 feet of sight distance. We make people chop them. More than half corners. the people in Guatemala would have to remove stuff from their driveway because when I got that letter, mm -hmm. I went around and there's people who my next door neighbor, the people right across the street, but they I'm have not things right them. in their driveway. I know, that's but, the difference. But I, I have to say that we kind of feel like we're being attacked and we're being made an example of. I don't think so at all. I think you can look at 27 years of letters to say the same thing. I, you put nobody. Nobody else is being told that they have to remove things from their driveway. I don't uh, I, 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 that's not my job. My job is to look at things when they come to the board. If they do come to the board, we get them cleared up. Or try to mm -hmm. try to resolve things. So. I, I don't. My job. I'm not the zoning officer kind of thing, or I'm not a an enforcement. If it, if it comes you're, before me, you're also telling me that I can't see when I back out. And no, I'm, I'm not telling them. you that. I'm Can telling I you there's a standard. I think he's telling you there's a standard. And, and what I, happens is two years down from the, down right. the road, somebody's riding down Vena and hits you. They We're, come back and look at this and say, oh, Fitzgerald recommended, said it was okay, and they turn around and sue him for liability, and he's liable. So he's got to go with the accepted standard. He's not making an exception. I'm trying to work with you. I'm not saying 15 mm -hmm. feet from your property line. I'm saying 15 feet from the edge of the sidewalk. Where's that? Can, can I just ask one question before, um, since before we, get, we get back to this? Okay. But, uh, the, the request is to continue that fence at the end of it. No. Down along the front oh, no, 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 no. I stopped it. The fence is to leave it where no, it is. It's two sections and it's staying where it is. 
But yeah. so what I'm saying is, is, is we're not adding to the fence right now. We're looking to maintain it. Right. Okay. We're looking for basically um, the, the fence was being non-conforming by yes. someone. Right. Right. And right. I is. know that because I've been on the zoning board and, 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 and I can just say that we always heard from our professionals, especially corner lots where we've got fences to get two front yards that we there's a concern about. I'm not about safety. Mm -hmm. And and then of course. We have to sit here as members of the public, let's say to an expert, say there's a safety issue for a pedestrian. Uh, it doesn't mean that I don't hear you for all residents, mm -hmm. too. And what about that one over there who has this? I mean, we can only deal with what comes before us. But mm -hmm. we're talking about some means of trying to, and not, the fence is there. Um, how long has it been? Huh? I I mean, what were you thinking about in terms of trying to alleviate the, 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 the section that is closer to the to the street, that right. second section? If I cut that down so that there was more of a sight line that way, if we cut that one down from the top down to, it would have to be, I couldn't cut, it would probably be a 45 degree angle, which well, I've seen in the all neighborhood. I'm, all I'm suggesting, I, I don't have a problem with anything that you want as long as nothing's non-conforming within, tw uh, what do we say, 15 feet at the edge of the sidewalk. I don't know exactly what the setback would be, but it's easy to measure from the sidewalk. Because I can't, I don't even agree with what's permitted. I have to be honest with you. From an engineering point of view, what's actually permitted in the ordinance is not good for pedestrians. Mm -hmm. Okay, it doesn't meet engineering site standards. However, I can't stop you. That's why I'm saying it. As long as you conform to the ordinance for the 15 feet from that sidewalk, you'll be fine. So from, then, what, from the other thing about the sidewalk, because I read it, so what... What side of the sidewalk? The is east side. So the that's your yard side, not not the curb side, the yard side. Closest to the street measuring it. No, closest to your house, your yard side, not the street side. Okay, so I'm, I'm lost now. <laughs> so I don't know. I mean, the board can overrule me. I'm so sure it so have to. I'm just not. So would it, would it? So wait, but, would it? I'm how, it, yeah. how how long is the fence now? It's two sections. It's 16, 16 feet. feet. So what you're saying is that eight. Well, the problem I, I'm trying to get some distances here for a bit. Again, we go with allowed things. How do we know it's eight feet? I'm sorry. How do we know that it's eight feet right now from the sidewalk? We don't. Feet. That's the problem. Right? We have a drawing that you yeah. can't tell, but. I'm trying, trying to make a mark. It looked like yeah, it was I about a fence. Same, <coughs> I don't know if we have the same section. Yeah, we do. Well, I have this. This is where I care, okay? Here's your home. Here's your garage. Okay, there's Vina. Okay, this is what you tell some me is your fence. I want it to conform to whatever the ordinance allows. We, we can't figure this edge it out. Where's this fence? I don't know. Right here. That, I don't know. Right there. As long as you're happy with it. Right. No, on the plan. As long as it can, as long as you conform to the ordinance for 15 feet from this edge of the sidewalk. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're on the record, Rachel. Okay. Let's get, let's get one person at a time. You can't really talk. On that. Okay. So. So you are got to make a record here, guys. Okay. So can I modify that second section or not? That's what I guess I don't understand. I'm trying to meet you halfway. You can meet the ordinance stuck. requirement, at, or the board can give you. Oh. Okay. Well, if you're saying uh, modify, I mean, I'm saying that I'll to how bringing it down. The ordinance allows you to have three foot solid. Okay. Or four foot fifty percent right. open. Okay. Oh. Or some combination. Oh. Right, but that's within, I'm only asking for that within the first 15 feet from the edge of the sidewalk. Okay. After that, it can go vertically. I, I don't have any... You might have to take that section out. Well, you don't have to... Smaller section. You, you could either take it at... A, yes. I was asking him if I could... The problem, the problem ma'am, is that I don't... I can't tell distances from your plan. So I can't say, okay, look, if we do the first four feet and do it... It's impossible well, measured, to scale them, and I don't know them. I, I measured the 15 feet. Sir, and sir, you can't really talk. Can't, can't you know the record. So if you want to testify, can Bill, stop. Can I, can I suggest stop. one thing? Yeah, so go ahead. If if you had, if you had some more definitive measurements for us, and I understand our engineer who cannot, he doesn't like the 
believe that there's safety inherent in the ordinance as written. So okay. I understand it's the position. We all have to consider everybody's position. Okay. But right now, in considering it, um, and, and I know you're a great homeowner, I know the way the property looks at it, but just from a safety standpoint, if we're going to analyze it, understanding what the existing difference is from the eastern side <coughs> of the sidewalk to that fence, and then what your option might be from there down, just uh, we would consider, but I don't know if you have those facts tonight. I just don't know. I, I think that I think that I need more facts. I, I don't want to have to say no to this. No. Okay, but at the same time, I I I, we, I need more information. I just need more information. I need to. I, well, if they conform I, to the ordinance, right? Then it's not it's, it's not a variance. So the only variance is for the stuff that's safe. Right. If they can and agree to that, I'm not trying to force you to agree to anything. Don't get me wrong. I'm trying to get you something that then if you don't like it you could come back and try to convince the board why it's no good but you might leave here and say I never have to come back again I got what I want that's all I'm trying to do so I guess I was just talking about the what your concern is is and I understand backing out not being the first able to 15 see. feet correct so if I were to modify the, the section only one of the section is fitting so the first section is within the 15 feet because I measured the one closest to the, the whole the whole section no 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 the first section the first part of it is. is okay right. Yeah, it's That's not within 15 feet of the. So she's yeah. the oh, oh, the first not. section. So really, to the what we're talking about is that second piece that I put. Correct. So okay. I, what I was what I'm trying to say, and your concern is the being able to see it from either side. So if I were to, if I were to take it and then cut it down and have somebody it has to be reframed because it's one right. of those fences, mm -hmm. then this way the sight line opens up. Would that is it okay if I cut well, it? Right, and here's, here's how to That's determine it. I can't tell you 45 degrees or 30 degrees, but here's what to do. You take a tape from the edge of the sidewalk, go in 15 feet. At that point, the fence can't be higher than thir three feet. After that, between there and the rest of your fence, you can make it scallop, make it any way you want to make it. It's the first 15 feet from that sidewalk can't be higher than three feet if it's going to be solid. And that then I would have to take because the fence would fall apart if I cut it down the. Well, three I don't know. So I, I, I can't. Yeah, so I can't forty-five oh, degree it down. I, I, I can't tell you that. You don't have I, a plan that I can work off of like no. that. Okay. But yeah, just, yeah, I wanted so, to just yeah, come down. Yeah, it's this section. It's it's this first section here. This yeah, Mrs. Park, huh? you can't do that. Excuse me. You, you, you have to be on. You have to be on tape. Why? Because I'm sorry. I think I think I think basically I think basically what Bill I think Bill what Bill is telling you is they have to go back and measure it and then come back here and tell us where you're going to be at three feet and then then you can go up and and uh, until that time I, I, until that time I don't think you want to take a vote here because if, if you take if you I, if you, okay, would, you, you would you like to testify? No, I mean, come up and be sworn. As you come in and be sworn. I don't know where anything is. Yeah. Raise your right hand. Yeah. Swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, yeah. and nothing but the truth. Um, state your name and address. Okay. Okay. In in Wanamasa, I can cite probably dozens of cases where you have issues with safety. I do. So are we arbitrarily picked out? Because no, you're here. When yeah. I can come to the enforcement and cite dozens of cases. And you can cases. do that on your own. Right. The answer is I you're before the board burden, asking for permission to do something that is not permitted by ordinance. And we are told by our professionals there's a possible safety issue. Possible. So the board can't grant it. We're, and they don't have saying, enough information. Okay, you're saying possible. Are you citing any issue? Are you citing a reference to yeah, this? I, I, yeah, we have a safety standard. Yes, we do. Okay. Yeah, it's it's got a safe been, have you been on site? Have I you have been? been on your site. Okay. I, I, there's a lot of things I noticed on your site that I didn't bring up. <laughs> okay. I'm well. trying not to. Okay. Well, because ha having Wanamasa is, if, I if understand. you look at Wanamasa as a whole, I'd say probably we have an ordinance. over 50% is not conforming. Yes. And probably you is, are not right? conforming probably on this fence. So the board has to make a determination of whether or not to grant you a variance and permit you to keep it. And they're being told by the professionals that they're not satisfied they're not with sat the existing Absolutely. fence in its current condition. And, and, and the board is not going to grant the variance when their professionals tell them there is a problem. And it's a new fence. And, and you have not something that was there for a long no, time no, ago. No, it wasn't. 
And, and if you had applied for a building permit, you would have gotten the house. The house is about 150, 160 yeah, well, years one old. One person, one, wait, wait, one wait, wait, person wait, 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 at a time. Wait, so please. You haven't really come here with any of the um, evidence, and that's okay because you weren't expecting maybe to do so. Right. Um, there's been safety concern ra raised by a professional engineer regarding 15 feet within the eastern part of the, mm -hmm. the concrete or the, uh, the sidewalk to the fence point. You don't know where that impacts the current existing fence, well, and, and I, I understand that. I Maybe do. I didn't know I was allowed to bring. I, right, but when, when you do, when I went for the variance, I was told I had to hand everything in before I came. Yes, I'm not so. blaming right. you. I'm not and they told me what to take You didn't do anything wrong. Of, and that's I'm what just, I did. But, but, everything but by the way, I don't know if you can. These I don't know how we're going to measure this. Well, I, I was trying to make it so that we could maybe vote tonight, and only if they're not happy with what they have to do, they'd have to come back. There's no cost involved. I would suggest that we right. see what we're approving. Huh? Well, whatever. I would suggest we see what we're approving. Okay. Could you want that? I don't know. It's what, but I think I'm. If it can force it, right. can I ask a question? We're have to come back. Right. Well, we're can have to can I ask a question? Yes, sir. You submitted a survey with a little diagram with yeah. Texas. Yeah. yeah. That's not the scale. Yeah. That's a reduced that's copy, what right? They well, well, that, okay. Okay. But no, that's saying. not the question. Do you have that survey to scale? I don't know what that means. The X is the original. This is a. Um, this is what they had. Do you have this to scale? It's a small one. No, it's been photocopied. Once it's you photocopy it, yeah. you lose the scale. So yeah. They, you yeah. have the original. The original oh, okay. would be. I brought my original survey to the town, the old one, the big one, and then they went into the file and pulled out something else and they told me to mark that one, and that's what I did. And so. No, you didn't do anything wrong. Here's what's going no. on. This. this Believe it or not, this survey is to scale, it but it's not to a normal scale yeah, because okay. the the surveyor showed a graphic scale. So when you Xerox it, photocopy it, and you pull it down, make it up, mm -hmm. this goes with it. But I can't take out yeah, a normal yeah, scale yeah. And, and make I it work. I can take a guess. But the you, big one, but I also don't have. On it and get and I brought exactly the, I brought the big one in. You have some so X's, and there's no. Yeah. I don't know if that's exactly 16. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's not easy. This is a sketch. Your work is a sketch. Okay, so I can't. If I measure those X's, you're telling me that's exactly the distance of that fence. You, you follow me? I'm trying to. No, 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 I'm saying I'm not the one to put the X's. No, I know. I, I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not faulting that. I'm just saying I can't make a measurement and say, okay, now if we do this and cut, you're good to go. So all I'm saying is, if you measure 15 feet from the walk and make that conform, whatever you put in there, mm -hmm. the rest of it. Is okay. I'm assuming you're going to stay what, with what you have, and the board can see it. <coughs> so the sec, the second, the second section. I mean, you're going to have to come and you said you still want to come and measure it, but what it is is that second no, he, section. No, he doesn't measure. That area. No, you got to do it. He doesn't measure. You have to supply those measures. You have to do it, and then just you would apply for your fence permit. And you're going to have to do that retroactively. Have to re show us yet, it, but you don't have to come back here if yeah. what works is okay for you. And I, I can. Yeah, it, it's the burden of time, the hardship of time. That's and, what I'm trying to get you out of here. We put a lot of time and effort into this as right. it is. Do I have to put it in the paper and yeah. do this whole thing over again? No, no that's no, what I'm trying not to do. Okay. So I, 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 guess I, just want, I just want it to be known that Wanamasa, for the most part, is non conforming, non. -conform, no question. Non -conform, non -conform, non -conform, we understand. We understand that, but 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 Wanamasa isn't in front of us uh, yeah. at this so point. Why? Um, just your fence. Just your fence is in front of us, not the rest of Wanamassa. We're looking, because you're here, it's being looked at as if it's a new fence application, even though the fence is physically standing there. Right. No one's well, what's the front yard setback? So the now you're looking, to do something. Something. you're looking to do something. You're looking to put in this fence. You, you want to, well, I don't know if they understand that. No. Your front yard is 30 feet back from, the, from, the, from your property line. Our house is it required Not your house. No, no. But you have to stand there. But the, no, we're non-conforming. Right, you, right but the ordinance says the first 30 feet of your property, you can only have a fence three feet in height. So maybe that can be They're negotiated. offering you <laughs> well, what he suggested, so you need a variance. You have no backyard. Well, you're asking for a variance, but the variance would be that the first 15 feet has to be three feet high. Then after that, it can or go up to and right. half open. Yeah. Or half open. I mean, you don't want a chain link. That's not doing what you want to do. But no. you, you do, do that, that, you don't need a variance. No, you do need you a variance. You still need a variance. You still need a variance. Variance. No, you but, still need but, a variance. But, but it's something that's approvable. We take that section out and we put a three foot solid there. We're okay. Right. And then it's or just cut that. And down then it's to right. Three feet. You, yeah, you still right. would need. Well, we can't cut it. We have to take it yeah, off. You would still need a variance, but it would not. 
it would be something the board could grant because it's not a safety situation. Okay, and then I don't have to do the whole thing all over again. No, right. but I don't think the board is should approve it tonight. I think you need to bring back the measurements. But if we can, we don't have to redo everything. Oh, okay. The measurements. You just come back in. I don't know how, they, how are you going to have them measure it. Well, my suggest. Let, let me make a suggestion. You have your original survey that's right. at a scale that can be measured. Right. A big giant one. Take oh, that yeah, we do. to Staples. Have Staples copy it the same exact size. Right. And get the, the required number of copies. Rachel, I don't know how many copies that would be. To five, five copies into Rachel, with that, and have measure the setback of your fence from the, the sidewalk. Okay. The sidewalk should be shown on that survey. And then you can accurately locate where the fence is. Is it 15 feet from the end of the sidewalk going Inside, towards the house? Yes. From the side of the sidewalk that's closest to your house. Okay. Because <coughs> okay. I, under, I understood it. Well, your garage the setback's about 32 feet from the sidewalk. I'm not from your property. I don't care about the yeah. property right. line. I'm looking at the safety issue. Okay, if I had to take a guess, the street most X the street is about the, the, the X yeah. that you drew on making your fence closest to the street is looks to me like to be about 12 feet from the edge of the sidewalk. Now I'm looking for 15 feet from the edge of the sidewalk, so it looks to me like it's you only three feet over. You're saying maybe it looks to maybe. me like you can play yeah. with that second section and and make it work. That section. That the second section Meaning is only the one three, closest to the street, the westerly feet, section. It's only three feet yeah. over. Looks like that. It looks like Pretty that. Close. Close. So you can measure know. exactly that. You could be on a survey. Yeah. Of, yeah. Of, but your yeah, fence section is probably eight feet, I think, right? Six or eight. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. Right. They're, they're two eight. They're eight. eight. So, so you have three feet, roughly, that's not conforming. How far is it So you could probably do something nice where you cut that off, brought it up and over, and it could look really nice. And that it's a wood fence. You can lay it down and frame it. Can we bring that down? Both sections. Okay. So, so let, let's do this. Let's do this. Get the survey, measure it, and come back. February 15th. We'll carry the case. You don't have to re-notice. You, all you have to do is come back. Right, and tell me. Right. Submit something to scale. Okay. Just come back. Okay. Go ahead. Well, you got to come back and submit new... You have to come back and submit a new plan. You have to testify again with what you're going to do. Okay. Okay. In other words, it would be this section, but I can't draw it. And then your other section. Okay. I was confused because I originally this came in with the plans and was told they didn't want to. You can lay that on the ground. You're fine. You I came in defense. with the big. Next time, get a bill. Right. It was Tracy. This came in and she said, here, this went through, your, they pulled my folder okay, out and well, said, let's use this well, one. You didn't need to do this to that section. Right, that's what I'm saying. You need to do this on yeah. that section. Okay. We're going to carry this case until February 15th. Thank you. You need to measure it from the, and come in with a measure. You can do the measure. I'm just okay. guessing. Okay. I assume that so they could lay down a long yeah, tape. Long tape hey. and take a picture of it. Right. I'm I'm just concerned that we're we're in a, a section of town that Sir, we're not we're sir, we're sir we don't pass on that. I know that. I know that. So and we're not attacking yeah. you. Yeah. We're picking on if anyone that comes before me I pick on. I'm sorry. I just Okay. Okay. The majority is non-conforming and... Thank you very much. Thank you. We'll see you next month. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you. Next case is case number 5, RC Realty South LLC, Block 3, Lots 2.01, 3, 2135, Route 35, Oakhurst Zone C2. This is an application for an extension of preliminary and final site plan, bulk variances, and conditional... Use approvals granted on April 23, 2015. Attorney for the applicant, Gerald Sonnenblick. Thank you. Thank you. Um, well, Basically, they wait, received wait. approvals. Mark the pack of B1, please. They, they received approvals for okay. use variants. Okay. Uh, for bulk variances and for site plan. Okay. Site plan, they got preliminary and final. When they get final site plan, they have protections from changes in the ordinance for two years from that approval. 
Right. And then they're allowed to get extensions of those protections for three one-year extensions. Right. Uh, their first one-year extension, had they gotten it, would expire in April. Okay. This year. So I suggested that they get two one-year extensions so that we don't have to see Jerry again. We don't want to see him again for another year anyway. Not many people do. Yeah. So, uh, but nothing has changed in the ordinance. So there's no reason not to give him an extension. So we're just here to give him extensions. extensions. Right. That's what right. already That's totally proved. Yes, right. but I'm going to raise something just because you're having such fun tonight that I, but it has nothing to do with the extension uh, after I've finished I've had the question from the board. Wait, okay. I, I have a real quick question. Only, procedurally, do, Mark, do we, is there any issue from the, this is a new application, so the fact yeah, it's, that it's, the extension can be heard by the whole board. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I don't have any problem with that. So wait a minute. It expired, the two years expired. The one year extension, it would expire April 22nd. Of 18. Of 18. So yes. you're suggesting yeah. it go to 19. 19 yeah. So they get I, one year. Did I get my years mixed up no, there? No, no, I don't think so. Okay. okay. That's correct. The extension would grant protection until yeah. April 22, yeah. 18. Yeah. yeah. If they had the first one. Yeah. So we're asking for a year and a half, yeah. basically, first, to yeah. get the two two yeah. extensions. Yeah. Okay. And okay. I, so let's put it this way. They, even without the extension, the first one year extension, they right. could build it today. Right. If the zoning hasn't changed. Right. right. And if the zoning doesn't change, the approval would could go for 20 okay. years. So, exactly. so we're just giving them until two one-year extensions. Until we have hover cars. For protections well, in case uh, the ordinance You're changes. giving them two one-year extensions retroactive to last April. To last April. <laughs> yes. All right, let's not beat this dead horse, okay? Right. Can somebody offer this, please? I offer this for a passive resolution. Oh, oh uh, is anyone from here from the public, public here to be heard? We've done these before. Okay, seeing that, I'm going to close the public hearing. Can I have a motion, please? Well, wouldn't you like Make to know why they haven't built it? Out curiosity? Nope. Uh, okay, you don't care. All right. Oh, well, why haven't they built it? Mr. Sonic, what did you mention? The answer is that Lexus itself is undergoing different uh, aspects of what they want from a dealer. And so, Mr. Katina, and they've decided until they are satisfied that what they're going to do is what is really going to be the case. Uh, w let's wait and make it happen and if it does they'll build it if they want them to do something else they're going to have to go back to this board and ask for the revisions that Lexus because Lexus is the boss at the end of the day got it and that's what we're going to talk about in a minute after we're finished with this hearing got it okay. all right so there was a motion and a second branch will please call the roll yes just to close the public hearing two two hours yes Yes. 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 Now I need a motion to extend. I make the motion. I second. For two one-year extensions. For two one-year extensions. Retroactive to the Retroactive to the last of the first two years. Of the first two years. Two Rachel, please call the roll. Yes. 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 Sir, you had something to say? Yes, I do. Uh, oh, he <laughs> I, I don't even get paid by the word by Mr. Katina. I get a gallon okay. per hour. Uh, the this board, which then at that point, uh, Mr. Good, uh, Mr. Borrell, Napolitini, Mr. Yano, uh, Theodore's Worrell, uh, all voted in favor of this application. Within this application was a request for variance for a sign. That sign is the Lexus National Program, and uh, Ron knows what I'm talking about, and I think Mr. Seinberg does as well. I hope to get it early, as, as does Mr. Arbus and everybody else. So what occurred was that there's a program throughout the country, and this board liked the sign. Uh, in fact, rather than take any more time, you've certainly had enough time, uh, from paragraphs 12 on page 4 of the resolution right through 19, uh, the determination was it's a stylish sign, it's uh, it, all Lexus dealers are being requested to change the existing sign. Uh, it's smaller, although the structure, and on and on and on it goes. But for all, anybody who was here, this was about that it matters. This is a picture of the sign. It's black and gray. It's going to be removed. Some of the poles that there are there. In other words, even Mr. Higgins, who was known for being a major critic of signage, uh, thought it was attractive in his report. Not as big but as here's the problem. So, what we thought we would do is make an application, and I spoke to Mr. Kirk uh, when he was uh, when he's hired here September 1st, 
uh, they were so glad to get rid of him in freeholds, but you don't know that, so I didn't want to. Oh, you're not getting this line now. And that, I would <laughs> hope not. I know, I know Ron for many years. But bottom line is, I thought that we could, since we were granted a variance, that we could make an application for the sign, just the sign, because this is what's national program while we're waiting, and we can get rid of what even this board didn't like and put in the new sign, which everybody liked. And I thought that was going to happen. In any event, as a result, and Rachel is aware of the, what we had discussed, we, Mr. Uh, uh, the Katina organization put in the application for the sign, right. and then we found out that we couldn't put up the sign because we had to go through planning, and planning told us, and it may have been Mr. Arbus, I don't know who spoke to you, uh, Mr. Kirk, about that. Well, in order for you to put that sign up and not do anything else, you have to bond. So I said, okay, we'll bond it, or I said, I'll give $2,500 cash, but although for a sign, there is no requirement, and this is not in your jurisdiction, this is a tangible governing body issue, I'm just pointing it out to you, so that we would basically put that up to make sure that we did everything that was appropriate. Uh, apparently, there's been a determination from some source that in order for us to use this approved sign and to put it up, we have to bond for the entire project, which is okay. very, 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 very expensive obviously, and we don't know that we're going to do the project, and then what do we do now? There's no point in putting up the money and then, in other words, we're talking about many, 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 many thousands of dollars, cash as well as bond. Can I, can I offer you a suggestion? Maybe so, we can solve your problem. We, I, 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 I'm going to have one in a second, but yes, okay. I, I, I prefer yours. I know I'm not going to cut the fence down, though. No, 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 no. <laughs> Only 45. <laughs> Only 12 feet. Um, why don't you apply to the board for phasing on an approved application and put the sign in its own face? That's what I was going to suggest because there were the only two, there are three choices. One is the one that would be economically infeasible, which is putting up bonding for the whole thing. The second one was to actually go in and make an application. Well, without, 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 without belaboring this anymore. Yeah. I think you can take care of this with Mr. Kirk, and if you want to, I would if you want to phase it in or do something, well, I think he would be glad to, especially that. after your comment, <laughs> meet with you. That's what we'd like to do, and I was going to say this to Seinberg. He, you, I would assume he needed an amended application. That's right. correct, and that was going to be my third. application for phasing. But, but we can't. We, can, sign we, we have one. no. We can't do anything about that. That's yeah. something that no, you have to you take have care to, of. Yes, yes, it plan. is the board. It is you the board. You have to approve the phasing for the site plan. Right, but I can't do that tonight. No, no, no. 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 have to come back. So what we would do is send in an application to the board, yeah. right. request that the sign be phase one and right. the balance well, be phase you're two. You're amending the site plan, basically. Yes, right. Ask, right. we're asking for an amended site plan. For phasing purposes. And Administratively, that, for and phasing purposes. And only. that's something that you, you're perfectly ca you can do, but I, I can't do it tonight. No, I, I, I understand that, okay. and, and we would do that. And again, okay. the question that I would ask is, I would assume, uh, that since the sign was granted previously, we're not going to go through the sign process again, just the phasing issue. I have no idea. I'm asking the... No, no, no. The sign was approved. Right. Yes. And you just I got an no extension on the approval. No problem. So you okay. Need to Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice Thank evening. You. Thank you. Thank you. Pick I'm out of here. Right. <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Okay, the next case is uh, case number six, Christopher Roth, Block. Thank you. 38.06, lot 9, 5 Aaron That's Court, Wayside, break. Zone R2. This is an application to construct a sunroom addition with a variance for rear yard setback under minimum. No fence problems, right? No fence Really, I'm still rattled. Yeah, Okay, um, can we mark the packet, please? Reports, please. Who is this? Gotcha. Uh, what are we doing here? Place Jim. Yep. Okay. Uh, they're, they're proposing, they were renovating their rear deck and, and a part portion of that deck, and then they, they wanted to put in a 16 by 16 foot sunroom. <coughs> the rear yard setback variance 32 feet is proposed, 40 feet is required. Most of the house is set back more than 40 feet, about set back about 48 feet. And this sunroom that they're they're putting in, the way the house is situated, it's directly between two houses to the rear, so it's not directly abutting a house to the rear. Great. It's a small sunroom. I don't see any problem at all with it. Quite it looks beautiful. 
we, we, besides the engineering environmental impact statement, I have no issues. Okay. <laughs> did, did you enter the packet? I entered the packet, yes. Can you please raise your right hand? Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Please state your name and address. Christopher Roth, Fire Iron Court, Ocean Okay. In, in, um, please tell us what you'd like to do. <laughs> um, we had an old wooden deck. Right. 15 by 32. Right. Been there for many, 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 many years. Right. We were ripping up a whole chunk of it because it was rotting. And when we ripped that up, the girders underneath, we discovered we were rotting. So I decided to take the whole thing up for that new deck. Right. And at the same time, I, my lovely bride of 49 years has always more of a sunroom. I thought this was a great opportunity to make her feel good and make us all be able to enjoy our backyard some more. So I said, let's put up a sunroom. Not thinking that I had to have variants to do that. And uh, that's what we want to do. Uh, it'll have, it abuts the kitchen. You access it from sliding doors out of the kitchen. Uh, three sides will be jealousy windows. And what's what's not what's not jealousy windows it will match the 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 yeah, side the of the house. side is the house yeah. excuse me the other side is the existing house yeah well no. okay but right. we got to make sure that that the stick portion is gonna uh, where there's no windows is gonna match and the roof is gonna match the roof, the roof is on? gonna match and okay. the uh, siding for okay. match the house side. Good. okay very good um any questions from the board this is what it's gonna look like oh. anybody from the public here to be heard would you would you like to? <laughs> I'll make a motion to close the public hearing. Okay. How about a second? Okay, Rick. Mr. Van Wagner. Ms. Bonnie. Yeah. He, he himself. Would you like to call the roll? Yes. 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 Okay. Action. I'll make a motion for a positive resolution. Second. Please call the roll. Yes. 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 Thank you. Please see Rachel. One was simple. <laughs> Man. Next case is case number seven. It's the last case. David and Julie Cohn, block 138.01, lot 16, 111 bent. 1111 Bendemir Avenue, Wanamassa. Zone R5. This is an application to install an AC condenser with a variance for side yard setback under minimum. Really? Okay. This is the most difficult one of the night. Come on. <laughs> Please mark the packet. Yeah, it's, it's an AC condenser. It's setback 8 feet. The ordinance requires 10 feet, but the house could be setback 5 feet. And it's it's got a fence between the condenser and the property next door. I, I see absolutely no problem with it. Need to check with his neighbors because he's I, I a problematic. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is my so, no conflict. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, there, was, anything? there was there's a fence section that's sort of missing that I had asked if he would put the fence section back and then line it with a sound blanket. So that it, the sound is focused toward the rear, where it's a long distance versus toward the house uh, to the south, because it's in a little alcove. And that's, that's I talked to the applicant informally. And Mr. Cohen, are you willing to do that? Yes. Okay. That's number three in your letter. Yes. Yeah, uh, I'll tell you in a minute. Yeah, I think so. Any questions from the board? That's it. Any qu anyone here from the public to be heard? I'd like a motion to close the public hearing. Make Mr. A motion. Van Wagner, Mr. Worrell, second. Rachel, please call the roll. Mr. Van Wagner and Mr. Worrell. I said it already. So please call the roll. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I said the already. In word. In word, yeah. Yes. That's a little sarcastic. Yes. It didn't come through. Action. Action. Both for a positive resolution. Okay. One Okay. <laughs> Just choose. I'll second. Please call the roll. Yes. 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 Please see Rachel. The important question of the day. Aren't you worth waiting for? That's the entertainment. You don't have to 
don't have to watch TV. <laughs> 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 <laughs>